Hello, I'm Dave Boki, and this is another Turbot video. Today, we're going to look at the top five features of Turbot's Apollo Preview. Apollo is the codename for Turbot's new user interface, and we're making it available today as a preview release for all Turbot customers. If you are on Turbot version 5.3.2 or higher, you'll have access to this within the UI. All you have to do to activate it is log in. So let's try it out. Once you log in, you'll see try out our new console in the menu bar. Click on that and you're in the brand new UI. That's all there is to it. If you want to return to the previous version for any reason, click on the drop down menu in the top right and click back to switch to existing console. A cookie will remember your setting and you'll remain in the version of the UI that you choose from that point forward. Our number five feature is the UI itself. It's bright, it's clean, and it's colorful. It has these widgets at the top that allow access to common information, bring that forward in the UI, and are contextual to where you are in the UI. For example, here on the homepage, I have the number four item on our list, import a new account. We've redone the account import process for AWS, Azure, and GCP. For Google Cloud, one of the common issues that our customers had was actually on the account import, extracting the private key from the JSON file that you would get from the GCP console. Now we've made that a drag and drop operation. You just drag the credential file over, Turbot extracts the private key, and then you can choose where you want to import the account to. In this case, I'll import it into the GCP folder under Dunder Mifflin and hit the import button. When the project in this particular case begins importing, you'll see a new progress bar showing the progress of Turbot's discovery and CMDB capture of all the resources within the account, GCP project, or Azure subscription. The next new feature we'll talk about, number three, is smart folder management. Smart folders are a great way to manage policy settings within Turbot, and we have new functionality. We have a first-class UI that allows you to not only set the name of it, but also choose a color for the policy settings and how that color, that color will affect the color of the policy setting within the UI itself. Once you create that smart folder, you then have the ability directly here in the UI to add new policy settings. And again, the best way to do that is via search. Here I'm quickly setting GCP, Azure, and AWS encryption settings for storage, uh, for object storage. Now that I have that set, I can actually click on the developers tab. And I right there in the UI, I have the Terraform template that I need in order to replicate this to other environments. So you simply open up a text editor, paste that in, and you're good to go from a Terraform standpoint. You can then run that Terraform in another environment and get an exact same copy of that smart folder. The number two feature that we're going to talk about are filters. Filters are now first class citizens within Turbot. As you can see, regardless of the tab of screen that you're on, search is a key metaphor for how to access information within Turbot. And filters are a great way to get directly to what you want to find. So I'm going to look for all VPC subnets within Dunder Mifflin in US East 1. So first I go to the resource tab, I select Dunder Mifflin. I then go to AWS, I'll search for VPC. I'll find that subnet, click it. You can see these filters being added to the screen. And then I can combine that with full text search. So I can just do US East 1 here. And you can see under the resources tab, I have four subnets in US East 1. Our number one new feature though has got to be reporting. This is the number one requested item uh, from our customers. You can see great new reports like this budget by account view that shows you how you're doing against your target budgets for each account. As well as things that you're used to looking at like controls by resource. And just like all the other areas of the new UI, you can use multi-select filters to narrow down the report that you want to see. In this case, I'll look for all CIS controls for Dunder Mifflin. So I'm selecting AWS CIS. And as the report generates, I can now filter it further. I can add another thing to show me only alarms in this state. 
Now that I have the report that I want, I can go up to the top if I want to take that out, export to CSV, bring that right into Excel or another file. I have all the alarm information for all of the CIS controls within my entire organization. Quick, easy, and straightforward. Really looking forward to getting your feedback on the Apollo release, understanding how you're going to use it, and what reports you'd like to see. That was a five-minute guide to the top five features of Turbot's Apollo preview release. Thanks again for watching. If you like this content, please like and subscribe.